Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. Today's video we are going to discuss some of the important terms that are used while studying mass spectrometry. Like what is ionization, fragmentation. This we had seen in the last video in general by using the instrumentation technique. But now we will see exactly what happens in a molecule. Okay, what is molecular ion, radical cation, base peak. Then the mass spectrum, we have relative abundance and mass to charge ratio. Okay, so let us first start with ionization and fragmentation. So initially you can see here, this is the compound. Okay, there will be a loosely bound electron pair that is called as lone pair. Okay, this is uncharged and it is not detectable. As I told you earlier in the last video that only the charged fragments are detected in mass spectrum. Okay, so first step is electron bombardment that is the incident electron beam. Okay, so what will happen? Ionization will take place. As soon as the electron beam will hit the molecule, what will happen? One of the electron is lost. Okay, so whenever electron is removed, what we add? We get a carbocation that is a positive charge. So we will get a species which has a positive charge as well as a single electron. Okay, so that is why this species is called as a Radical, what is the meaning of radical? A single electron and it is also having a positive charge. So it is also called as cation. A species having both a single electron and positive charge that is why it is called as radical cation. And this same species is known as molecular ion. Okay, what does a molecular ion represent? Okay, it represents or it gives information about the molecular weight of the compound because you can see the entire uh, the entire carbon chain is intact only we have removed one electron so the mass will be same as that of the molecular weight okay, and it is represented by m plus the molecular ion is on, is the same as radical cation so after formation of molecular ion what will happen there is fragmentation after fragmentation, we will get one species which is radical. It is uncharged. It is uncharged. That is why it is undetectable or not detectable. And then we will get a carbocation which is a charged fragment. Okay, this is also called as fragment ion. Fragment ion. Okay, now let us understand this with the help of an example. So this is a compound. In general, there are two groups R and R dash. There are two electrons. Okay, this is electron this electron that we are adding is from the electron beam okay, this one electron we are adding and here you can see there were two electrons now there is only one electron so that is why overall they have written plus charge and a radical what is the meaning of plus charge cation and single electron means radical this is a radical cation it is also called as molecular ion and symbol is m plus so this electron uh, hits this molecule or is incident on this molecule and removes one more electron. So there are two electrons that are lost. One was from the electron beam and another from the molecule. Okay, and after formation of this radical cation, what will happen? There will be fragmentation that will that is the bonds of the molecule will break. And we will get a fragment having smaller mass. Okay, this is the compound having the molecular weight. Okay, that is the total weight of all the atoms present in the molecule. So we will get a cation fragment that is a charged fragment that will be detectable. It is observed radical fragment is not observed. Okay, so now let us understand what is a base peak. So let us first write down the definition of a base peak. It is the peak that that signifies 100% abundance okay that means we consider base peak to be 100 percent base peak is a peak with 100 percent intensity okay and why this is 100 percent intensity because base peak is the peak okay base peak is the peak that what is signifies base peak represents what it represents the most stable fragment 
most stable charged fragment that is what that is carbocation a charged fragment is what carbocation okay so what does base peak represent it will represent the most stable carbocation now let us see how we can identify the molecular molecular ion and base peak in the mass spectrum okay mass spectrum is in the on the y axis we have relative abundance okay why this is called as relative abundance because we consider the base peak that is the one which has the highest intensity highest intensity means highest height okay in the entire spectrum you can see that this peak at m by z or mass is equal to 43 m by z is equal to 43 has the highest height intensity means the height of the peak height of the peak is maximum this we consider it to be 100 percent okay that means suppose there are 100 fragments okay so then we consider this as suppose there are 100 fragments of this mass is equal to 43 m by z value of 43 then suppose this 57 mass is approx let's say it is 80 percent okay 80 percent abundance what does this mean if there are 100 fragments of the base peak that is m by z is equal to 43 the frag number of fragments of this m by z is equal to 57 will be how much it will be how many fragments it is 80 percent dependent so there will be 80 fragments okay that is relative relative means in comparison to the base peak if this is 100 percent this is 80 percent Okay, so if there are 100 fragments of this base peak there will be 80 fragments of the other peak and let's say the fragment of this 41 this is even lower so this might be let's say 30 or 40 fragments or 30 or 40 percent abundance okay so that is a this is a relative abundance and m by z we had seen what is m m is the mass okay it signifies the molecular mass of the fragment and z is the charge okay and what is how, how can we identify the molecular ion peak m plus it is the one having the highest having the highest mass okay because after the molecular ion peak is formed we do the fragmentation okay a particular molecule cannot have mass greater than that of the molecular weight only in case of isotopes it has a mass of let's say m plus 2 or m plus 4 that we will see later on okay only if isotopes are present then the mass is slightly greater than the molecular mass or molecular ion peak but in most of the cases you will see the last peak in the spectrum from left to right if you see the last peak is nothing but the molecular ion peak okay so this was a molecular ion peak and now how do you identify the molecular ion peak and base peak that is how do i get this value of 143 that we have to see so for that what we have to do we have to calculate the molecular weight of 2,4 dimethyl pentane okay so let us do that CH3 CH CH3 CH2 CH okay carbon forms how many bonds maximum of four bonds okay so if any carbon is forming two bonds then there will be two hydrogens like this if the carbon is forming only one bond then the remaining three will be hydrogen okay so finding out the molecular weight of this first what we have to do is we have to find out the molecular formula how many carbons are present here let us count the number of carbons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so seven carbons are present and now how many hydrogens are present how many hydrogens are present? 3, okay, 3, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 hydrogen. Okay, even if you know the general formula, that is also fine. CnH2n plus 2, this is for alkane. Okay, so 7 to the 14 plus 2, 16. So now we have to find out the molecular weight carbon atomic mass is 12 so 12 into there are 7 carbon atoms plus 16 into hydrogen atomic mass is 1 okay so 12 7 is 84 plus 16 84 plus 16 is how much 100 
100 is a molecular weight so that is why at 100 we will get the molecular ion peak okay now how do you find out the base peak okay how do you find out the base peak the base peak signifies i told you what it, it signifies most stable fragment most stable carbocation okay so this molecule we have to do fragmentation or break the molecule such that we get a most stable carbocation suppose if i break here okay what i will get i will get this carbocation is this stable no it is a primary carbocation so this will not be the base peak suppose i break this fragment okay i will get a carbocation here you can see this is the secondary carbocation and it will be more stable okay now what we can do we can find out the mass of this carbocation that is ch3 ch ch3 okay so total there are how many carbons three carbons c3 and how many hydrogen 3 plus 1 4 plus 3 7 c3 at 7 Okay, so let us find out the. Let us find out the molecular mass of this fragment. Twelve into three carbon plus seven into atomic mass of hydrogen is one. So twelve three is a thirty six plus seven. Thirty six plus seven is what? Forty three. So you can see that is why at forty three we have the base peak or the peak with highest abundance. Okay, this is assumed to be hundred percent. Okay, it is with the highest intensity or highest peak. Okay, the height of this peak is maximum. Okay, so uh, I hope now you have understood how we can calculate the the molecular ion peak and the base peak. Okay, here it is labeled, but you can get a question where only the mass spectrum will be given, and you will be asked to identify the base peak and molecular ion. so here we come to the end of this video uh, i hope you have understood what is mass spectrum and the different terminologies related to it like what is molecular ion what is radical cation what is fragmentation fragment ions relative abundance and m by z ratio in the next video we will see the different techniques of fragmentation and also how to identify the isotopic peaks thank you so much 